everybody welcome back today is February 23rd and I am 26 weeks and one day pregnant today this marks uh, the beginning of our third trimester I can't believe we're here already it does seem like time is just flying by everybody says those first two trimesters go by so quickly um, but that it starts to feel like it slows down I feel like days are just like flying by weeks are just like disappearing um, counting your life in weeks, it goes by quickly. And as you can see, we got to the crib and my decal up on the wall and the crib mattress all came and I am just ecstatic. I could just sit in here and stare at this forever. I love it, love it, love it, love it. It's even more beautiful than I remember. I got the crib at such an amazing deal. They were clearing out their old models, just making room for new models. So no recall, but an amazing deal less than $100 and it's new and I love it. It's beautiful. Um, the mattress did come. I'll do a review on that I think after baby slept in it for a while, but it's not like a hard crunchy, it's natural fibers and yeah, just so soft. I mean, not soft, it's soft to the touch, but nice and firm to lie on. Ah, still getting more and more winded. I think it's becoming more of a problem than less. Um, I lie down at the end of the night and um, by the time I like roll a couple of times and get comfortable it's like I've run a marathon and I have to like catch my breath before I can go to sleep. <laughs> um, the mattress I also did put on the waterproof cover and the uh, little night owl sheets that I showed in another video. It's just so beautiful. So beautiful. And I did get the decal up on the wall. I did that on my last days off. Um, just took a couple hours and went really easy. I was gonna make a video, um, but to be honest, it was like I was standing in front of it the whole time and I didn't think it was gonna be very good shots or angles and I couldn't figure out quite how to do it. So the decal, and it's even more beautiful than I thought. It's like almost right to the roof and little blue birds and I love the squirrel. He's just so gorgeous. This little bird here, standing on the light switch. I love, love, love that little bird. <laughs> um, and it was just fun. It was so much fun to put up and put all the stickers everywhere. Last week felt really good. We did have our appointment with the midwife and it went so good. Selena is fantastic. I am um, not sure why I was worried. I know I really wasn't worried. Just wanted to spend some more time with her and it was just wonderful. Um, she brought up a few different topics that we definitely touched on before, but didn't have full idea of what um, things were going to look like. Um, but we talked a bit about like those first few weeks after the baby's born and how you just kind of want to hunker in and have that honeymoon period with your family. And, um, you know, we still had originally thought that baby would go directly into the crib. And um, she kind of made that more of a realistic jump into, you know, a bassinet in the room and... Um, Things like that um, seem much more doable and more relaxed, so we're definitely opening our eyes and thinking about things like that a little bit more. We also talked about things that baby will need at the beginning, um, if breastfeeding was going to happen and stuff like that, so they got a bit more of what we're wanting to do and um, yeah, just the necessities of what a baby actually is going to need as opposed to all of the frivolous stuff that baby doesn't really, really need. So um, it was really interesting and really eye-opening and yeah, just a wonderful appointment. I definitely checked out still super fine, no problems. Um, my blood pressure is still great. Um, 120 on 72, I believe it was. And baby's heart rate at 155. I still love hearing that sound. <laughs> it's just beautiful, music to my ears. And um, we did touch on at the end of um, the appointment, the idea of having a home birth, and this was something that we kind of said no, no definitely not, <laughs> right off the bat, um, but we're almost considering a bit more now. So we definitely will talk to her a bit more about that at our next appointment. She kind of just threw it in for a topic for us to think about um, and come back with more questions, so we'll see. Um, because we hit that point in the pregnancy, we've got just one more month and then we start going more regularly. Um, we did book all the appointments from now until the end, so um, that was good just to be able to see what it's all gonna look like. Um, she also urged me to take all my holidays before the baby's born and not worry about saving them until the end of the year and then going back a little bit later. So I have done that. Um, 
I, because I do have a very stressful, busy, long hours kind of job. Um, so she wanted me to take off as much as I could beforehand. So I did book off my holidays. They will start, my last day of work will be April 29th. Um, and baby's not due until May 31st. So that will be a lot of sit around waiting time. I'm not sure. <laughs> I think I'll go start crazy. Uh, but I guess it will give me um, kind of a nesting period where I can do everything I want to do. Because right now, between work um, being super busy and really exhausting, and really my days off are just filling up with appointments. By the time I go to a water, an aquafit class and a massage appointment and my yoga class and fit in a doctor's appointment and try and spend some time with my mom and maybe a friend. It's like, it's busy and it's gone. And my days off are just over. So yes, I'm thinking it probably will be a good idea and I hope I will make it that long. Work is exhausting, exhausting, long hours. As for me, no real new symptoms. Um, one other thing I actually did throw by the midwife was that peanut butter problem I was having. She says there's no real research linking um, peanut butter to allergies um, for baby later on, so not to worry about that. But she did bring up the topic that um, peanuts are the most highly pesticide controlled plant out there, um, and you're actually introducing a lot of pesticides into your diet um, by eating peanut butter. So I've gone to a natural almond butter. It doesn't do the trick totally, but um, it's still really good. Cuts the craving a bit, and I'm sure I'll get used to it. It's just a different texture than I'm used to. It doesn't quite melt the same, but um, yeah. I think for now it's probably for the best, and maybe I'll end up loving it. I might try a natural peanut butter, an organic peanut butter next time. Um, but yeah, I'm still going through my tub of almond butter. It's still getting used, so there we go. Um, other than that, this week has been great. Um, like I said, I've been exhausted still. I think I've just hit that phase and it's what's going to happen. I've been absolutely cooking. I cook, sweat all the time if I get really worked up. Um, but yeah, I'm always hot. It's like we never get snow, but it's snowing out and I don't need a coat. The snow will just melt off of me. <laughs> it's I'm cooking. We have my own little furnace here. I couldn't imagine being pregnant in the summer. Hats off to you guys who have been because it's the middle of winter and I'm cooking. So I guess that's it. I will do a belly shot this week. Um, my cousin who's not in town has been asking for one. I'm an up-to-date shot. So here you go, Katie. Um, my belly shot for week 26. Oh, do you feel big? You can see my belly button ring. Through most of my shirts, it looks like my belly button's already popped out. It has not. It's still in there. It's definitely not very deep, but it's in there. And let's put that up. There we go. We are growing. We are growing. He's moving around so much. The odd time I can even see my belly move. I love that. I love it, love it, love it. I haven't caught any of it on video, but if I do, I will put that up for you. And I think that's it for this week, guys. Please hit the like button if you're enjoying these and subscribe to my channel for more. I'll see you next week.